There's perhaps no other phenomenon in the animal kingdom that captures the imagination of man more deeply than migration. Driven by some unseen force that transcends the individual, entire species join together to brave daunting distances and trying obstacles to return to their homes. Some monarch butterfly populations migrate 5,000 kilometers each year to climates better suited for their survival. Some species of turtles travel across the Pacific Ocean from Indonesia to the coast of California. Humpback whales swim from the cold waters of the North and South Poles toward the equator and then back again. Perhaps even more incredibly, the Arctic Tern flies from the Arctic Circle in the north to Antarctica in the south and back again every year. A distance of some 100,000 kilometers. When scientists study this fascinating phenomenon, they search for the answers to one of the biggest questions of all. How do they know where to go? And how does each new generation learn this behavior? Much of this is still a mystery. But as we observe this powerful instinct at work in animals, we cannot help but also ask the question, is it possible? that human beings have a similar yearning, an inner guidance system, if you will, that draws them to their heavenly home? I believe that every man, woman, and child has felt the call of heaven at some point in his or her life. Our beloved Father in heaven has given us the light of Christ, and deep within each one of us, a heavenly stirring urges us to turn our eyes and hearts to Him. Some might suppress this yearning and deaden their souls to its call. But those who do not quench this light within themselves can embark on an incredible journey, a wondrous migration toward heavenly climes. When you walk the path of discipleship, when you move toward Heavenly Father, there is something within you that will confirm that you have heard the call of the Savior and set your heart toward the light. It will tell you that you are on the right path and that you are returning home.